Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I'm back with another tutorial and as I've said before, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and click on the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So this week I've been making something and I thought I would share it with you. So what it is, is I've been getting these wood slices and I've been like decoupaging them with napkins. I, I got three different sizes. So I've got like these really cute little small ones, which are perfect for to hang on your tree, a medium size one, and then bigger ones. I'll put all the links for where I've been getting mine from. But I want to show you some I've been making. So this is a little small one and I've just put some of the sort of Eileen's glitter snow but you can whatever you use for snow and I've done these double sided because obviously if we're hanging them on a tray if they spin round you know you want the pattern on the same but I'm going to show you these huge ones I've done these are gorgeous so I've made two of these and these are just absolutely beautiful now I've only done these single sided because they're pretty big so like I'm going to hang them on the door or hang them on the wall or whatever again this is another one and again I've only done it single sided but I'm going to show you a really easy way to put the napkins on there's no messing about there's no wrinkles there's nothing again I've put some fake snow and I've put bits of glitter on as well I love this napkin it is beautiful um so what was I going to say sorry I've got really bad brain fog at the minute um <clears throat> yes that was it so these little ones that I bought come with the holes already in them but the big one and the the medium size didn't so I had to drill them in it was really easy you know it didn't take long you may be able to buy them the bigger ones with holes in I don't know but I drilled them in and it was pretty easy so I'm going to show you so let us get this right because this one here yeah so I've done a different thing so with this one I didn't take the white gesso to the edge I've left the edge to see what this one looks like because on these I've just took the gesso all the way to the end because you can use like a white chalk paint I'm just using a white gesso and all you want to do is put one coat of the gesso on or the chalk paint whatever you're using and just let it dry these ones I want to do both sides so this one here it's dry and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your Mod Podge and I've already put it on that side so I just need to do this side so I've put the white gesso on let that dry I'm going to take the Mod Podge and you just want to paint this all over And what you can also do, so you've got a one nice layer there. What you can also do is you can go around the sides and sort of seal like the wood chips in because obviously they can drop off. This big one here, you can see it's a little bit shiny where it's not quite dry there where I've sealed and it, it does help seal them. So that's the Mod Podge on. Now you will let this dry completely. All right. So let me get one. Here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> Blue Peter. So this one has got both sides with the white gesso and then the dry um, Mod Podge. And then now you would pick your napkin so I have a few, a fair few, not as many as some people, <laughs> but I got these the other day and these are smaller ones. 
and we happen to have that beautiful one in oh god i love that napkin so i think i'm gonna go for this one this is really cute and it should fit perfectly actually on here but yeah I've, I've actually come quite addicted to making these but i want it on both sides so i'm gonna be using two pieces of the napkin so i'll cut that one in the middle And then you just want to remove both of the back and layers. If you wet your finger, they sometimes come, come off quite easily. But today it's not. Or you can put a bit of glue on your finger as well. That's it. So we move both of them. <coughs> Excuse me. Now. So yes, this just just say fits. So that is where I'm gonna have it now. Yeah, that's okay. So because I'm just bearing in mind where the hole is. So right what you're going to do now is now i'm going to show you this but you don't need this i've bought this because i got a new the cricket maker three the other day because as, as i've said before i want to start getting into vinyl and things like that so i bought this it's on so i have to be careful it's not the genuine cricket one um but it's brilliant it's got different heat settings I'm going to put it up to medium heat, but you can just use a regular iron. You don't need one of these. Handy little thing to have though. And then you need some like wax paper or um, like bacon paper. Oh, sorry about that. I got a phone call. So I've got the napkin. Pop it on there. Now, as I think as, as I was saying before, you'll need like some wax paper like um, bacon parchment anything like that just to protect your iron from the napkin so this is like a sort of waxy paper so i'm going to put that on there now this is hot and ready i've got it on the heat setting number two and all i'm going to do is just sort of basically iron over this And what happens is the Mod Podge, with it getting hot, it will sort of be all sticky and then the napkin sticks to it and you don't have any wrinkles at all. Let's have a look. Look at that, completely wrinkle free because that's just the marks of the like actual wood. You can see it's completely stuck this it, honestly it's brilliant and I'm just going to maybe go over a few little bits more but yeah as I said you don't need one of these you can use a regular iron I used to have a little pink one and I don't know where it's gone I can't find it I don't know if if it broke and I threw it away um, but I, as I said, I, I am wanting to get into vinyl and things like this. So I saw this. I'll put the link for it and it's, it's a brilliant little thing. There we go. That is completely done. Now, I'll just trim the extra bits off with my scissors. And I'll show you what I use. All I use is 
I've got it somewhere. I had it before. Yeah, I'll just use my nail file <laughs> and it just gets rid of all the little overhang bits. A bit of sandpaper. Anything like that will do. But I always do each side separately like I wouldn't do this one then do them both together because you just find that it just gets in the way so do one side as you've done you know when you've put the napkin on Yeah, I've come quite addicted to making these. Isn't that just so simple to do? And then um, if you're doing the other side, I will do that now with the other napkin and then we'll seal it. Because I've got a few different kinds of Mod Podge, Mod Podge. I'm going to show you because what I did was with... The little ones here, the little one I made, where did I put it? Yes, this little one, you see the glitter, I use the glitter mod podge, which I'll get. This one, it's the, yeah, sparkle, really sparkly. And then for these, there's a nice gloss on it. So I use the gloss Mod Podge. But just for using it for the napkin to stick, I just use the matte one. But I have used the gloss one. It doesn't really matter. So I've got the napkin. Again, I just want to get the sort of... Right, because bear in mind I've got the hole up there. Then again, just take a sort of wax paper and just iron it on. Completely and utterly, you know, wrinkle free, totally smooth, so quick and easy. So that's probably why I'm a bit addicted to these. But seriously, these make absolutely beautiful gifts for people. Like this one's for me. <laughs> but this one is going to be, I don't know. This might be a gift for my mum, actually. She would, like, love this for Christmas. Just, to, you know, decorate. So, but if you have craft fairs, you could sell these. I know I, if I saw this at a craft fair, I would buy it straight away. So, you know, that's something to think about there as well. So I've cut the excess off. Again, just get your little nail file. And I just use the actual rougher side because it just gets it straight off. That's it, it's just... It's so easy. I'm going to go over that bit a little bit. You can see where that bit kind of hasn't adhered properly. But all you need to do is just get your iron again. And that's sort of that straight out. As I said, you'll get the 
indentations obviously of the wood because you're made from wood so now your little hole just get something to poke the little hole through decide which way you're going to have I'm going to have this well, it doesn't really matter but I might do this one in the glitter actually yeah we'll do this in the sparkle one and so just pop your just obviously go careful with this try and get it on as quick as possible like the less you you know mess around with it that's it and I normally I will put about two quarts you can see all the sparkle in there and obviously I need to do both sides two quarts and then I'll probably seal around the sides with the either the gloss or the matte Mod Podge but it is so easy to do and that is basically it and then you can add your little snow and these ones I, I have a little gift box as well I've made a gift box for this but I'm, I'll do a one for all sizes and I'll come back with another video and we can make the gift boxes because I might do some sort of more coasters and decor other, other things with using this same um, method so yeah I've got the Eileen's True Snow, the Snow Tex, and I have got another, yeah, there it is, Eileen's Glitter Snow. But to be honest, you could just get the regular one and pour your own glitter in because there really isn't a lot of glitter in this anyway. I mean, it's so I wouldn't waste your money buying them both. I would just buy this one and put glitter in it. I mean, what you could just do is get a bit out, mix it and put the glitter in as you as you need it. You know, so you're not pouring glitter in the whole thing and always having a glitter. You'll have both options then. But that's what I've used for mine. And put as little or as much on as you want. And I just put some like um, stickle stuff just around, you know, to pick up some bits of glitter. But you can see the glitter in that now. Yeah, that's the sparkly Mod Podge. But as I said, they just make beautiful gifts. They really do. So I'll come back with another video. We'll do some gift boxes. And I'll have all the links underneath the video for the the little iron, um, the slices, and also the napkins where I get my napkins from. Um, this one here, I got this last year. And the ones I ordered the other day, the smaller ones, that's all I could find in that pattern, the small one. Because I've only got one piece of this left, I think, one or two pieces. And I just absolutely love this napkin. It's beautiful. So anyway, yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, all the links will be below. Um, so take care and bye for now.